Let me give you a summary of what I saw. I'm sure I'll see different things that I'm not talking to you about, but it's what I saw uh, live in the scrimmage. Uh, let's talk about special teams. Um, Shipley kicked the ball well, um, pounded the ball well, um, covered well. Um, that part of it, we did have a bobble on a fair catch, um, which we cannot have. Um, and the twos, two minutes, get the ball back two minutes, Shipley came out and hit a 50-yarder with two seconds left, which I thought was outstanding. Offensively, way too many turnovers. Um, a little bit of a – too many penalties. Um, a little bit of a reverse of the last week. I thought the defense started – we started – I'm talking about the offense. I thought we started slow. I thought we ran the ball well at times. we got to be more consistent there. Um uh, but we just had too many turnovers. We were much better in red area, low red, and get the ball back two minute situation than we were a year or a, a week ago. So I thought that was a good sign of of offensive football. Defensively, I thought they uh, ran the ball well. And certainly, you know, intercepted passes. Uh, we got to get better at our tackling. Oh, I think we've got some pretty good backs, but we got to get better better at our tackling. Um, had too many penalties uh, in a secondary, uh, too many holding penalties in the secondary. Now, you got to understand this is with ones, twos, and threes now. So um, I'm not categorizing any of them. I'm saying this is overall as a defense. We have to get better at that. And uh, I think that's about it uh, for opening statement there. Uh, Coach, what would you think of Taylor's performance today? I thought he played well, uh, didn't want as accurate with the ball uh, as what he had been. Uh, his protection wasn't as good either, so that has something to do with it. Um, Landon Jackson was a beast out there today, really played well. D-line overall played well. Um, but, uh, you know, again, Bobby didn't run him as much this time as he did a little bit more last week. But uh, he played well. He just didn't – he wasn't quite as accurate as what he was the week before. Uh, Kudus has been out. Kudus has been out. I assume he's yeah. out today. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you've got going on there at that guard spot, left guard with the Marion, and was anybody else held out? Yeah, Maury Wiggins would be the other guy that, you know, we worked in today. Uh, Tykeesh went down with a little injury, so we didn't get to work that as much as we wanted to. Um but uh, him and Wiggins are those guys there. Marion Harris has had a really good camp. And uh, our plan was to to switch those two guys in a little bit at, you know, him at center and get E reps at left tackle. When Ty Keast, uh not bad, just a little shoulder injury, nothing nothing major um, when he couldn't continue. And the scrimmage tray, it really kind of affected that, that rotation, to be honest with you. But... Uh, Wiggins, to answer your question, Wiggins and him are battling out for that left guard. He's probably ahead of him. Uh, and Mary's right, probably ahead of him right now. What, what's the schedule right now for Kudus? That's good. That's a good question. We're we're continuing to uh, um, get looks at him. Um, we're hoping he's back as early as Monday. It could be as early as the next Monday, uh, to be honest with you. So we're still waiting. He's in rehab right now, rehabbing that back and he's feeling much better we don't want to get him out there too fast trey uh so it, so it doesn't complicate him the entire year so we're being very very uh cautious with him and so really we're just going off of of how he feels uh, the eight interceptions is a big number um how, how many was tailing involved with and is it concerning man i don't know that answer he he may i don't you know i don't know for sure uh, yeah, it's concerning. It's concerning whether it was him or somebody else, to be honest with you. But, you know, of the first four or three of them were tip balls, you know, which which has to do with catching the ball and accuracy of throwing the football. Uh, I know there was at least two of those three that if we just catch the ball, it's not a – you know, it's a completion. Uh, so, you know, interceptions, they, you look at them on the quarterback a lot of times, all of us do, but a lot of times it's on 
uh, catching the football, running the correct route, accuracy, and certainly the protection of of, of uh, the offensive line. So I'll have Kyle give you that answer. I don't know it. Did you hold so like so Jaquindon, maybe Broden and Armstrong or some of those guys held out or no, Jaquindon the De, the De, played some of the uh, practice. Uh, Bro, Broden and Armstrong both both went out um, early for walks and flex and starts and and Indy, and then we chose not to play them today. Do you feel like um, best you can judge? You're on schedule for where you wanted to be right now. How, how would you evaluate your pace? I guess. Yeah, I think so. Here, here, here's what I saw for the first time. It was yesterday. I thought we were sluggish yesterday, and that was a spider's practice. I thought we were sluggish. I thought we were slow, which we're not trying to keep them fresh for the scrimmages right now. We're, we're not. We're trying to, you know, continue to develop our team with the toughness of it, and, and we're, we're pressing them until Monday. And uh, so we were sluggish yesterday, and I felt like, at least offensively, where we were sluggish today. Defensively, I felt like we flew around a little bit. Again, the tackling is a concern that we got to get better at. But I like where we're at. Um, um, you know, I like our kids because they work extremely hard. It's important to them. They got a really good team togetherness culture about them. That, uh, but we just didn't play as well uh, at times either side of the ball at times, like I wish we would have today. Uh, you know, Keon, Cuddy, and Singletary have all missed a little bit of time this fall. What did you see from from those three maybe specifically today? Yeah, it was good for him to get back. Cuddy had a really good week of practice from what I saw. I think he had some penalty today uh, holding. Uh, we, we've got to watch that. Um, Stu's getting better. Um, and then who else do you say? Singletary. Yeah, Singletary's had a good – Good uh, Monday, Monday through uh, practice. I, I didn't notice. I didn't notice him negative or good today. So I have to watch the tape to give you a good answer there. But he's moving well. And can you share maybe any other players besides ones that you mentioned so far who missed today? Missed, man. Help me. Who? I think we probably got them all. Do you have you? Feel pretty good about the return guy. I mean, you know who that might be, right? Yeah, now. I think it's Satagna. You know, I, 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 and I, well, I know it is right now, and I feel really good about him. I mean, I really do. You think bringing in Ramsey at summer maybe ignited Shipley a little bit? I think it has to. You know, I think anything like that. I think it has to. He's been really good, and you know, I can make an excuse for Ramsey. I'm going to. He's had a growing issue, you know, and so. Uh, but um, Shipley's that was a big kick today. I mean, the one offense goes down and they run the clock out in the two minutes, 207, three timeouts. They get the first down, they run the clock out. We win the game. Offense was ahead um, by two. And then you flip it, and I just made up a scenario. 48 seconds will go down. Uh, with the two offense versus two defense, and then Ship comes in and makes a fifty-yard, pretty pretty good deal. Feel pretty good about the defensive line depth at end and inside. I think I'm feeling better. I'm a, oh, that's another guy. Well, you didn't ask me who played well, but you asked me. Getting Anton back, big. He's he's a good player. I like our D line. Getting him back helped, and Quincy's coming on. And I think I think as soon as that happens, getting Anton back really helps us in at the defensive end spot. I think there's a battle there with him and Nico, and uh, uh, and Quincy's coming on. So that that makes us pretty close to pretty damn solid on the two two deep O line with uh, Danny and Grafford. They both have to continue to come on, and they they've got to you know they got to drop some weight and get in a little bit better shape for us to really be able to play them four, four, five, six plays in a row instead of alternating them. I just want to be the two, D, Danny and Ian inside. Do you feel like either one of them is ready to help you right now? Not quite yet. They're, they, you know, they got to get a little bit better shape. But yeah, they're going to help us, but not lengthy. We might have to, like I said before, we might have to use both of them for one guy. Coach, I know Marion has played guard 
previously. He'd been work, working mostly at tackle. We didn't see him at guard until maybe this week. What what led to trying him out in there, and what, what do you like about him at that spot? Well, um, a big reason was because of um, he'd been playing so good. And so you you rate him with Kudis out. You're ranking him. He's at least five. So he's, you know, he had a problem of keeping his weight. You know, he's a big old kid coming out of high school and he lost. And he had a problem keeping his weight. Now he's over 300 pounds playing well. So uh, we moved him in there and it made us better. And um, so I, I anticipate whether he starts or whether he doesn't, when Kudis returns, we'll have us a good two guard and a good to tackle regardless of who wins that battle when Kudis comes back. And Kyle was telling us, I guess, TJ Metcalf had a couple of interceptions today. Just what did you make of his yes. performance? I tell you what, him and Hud, they're, they're, they're battling it out back there, you know, and uh, uh, he made some really nice tackles too, you know, and uh, both those Metcalf kids, they're, they're hardworking guys and football is important to them and, I love them both, but they uh, TJ is probably more improved right now than than a lot of guys on the team. He's and it's just because his work ethic. He's he's always been a good athlete, but he's he's worked his way into a really solid football player. With most of the receivers being back, and you know some of the issues today, do you think that can be something that can be easily rectified as far as the tips and the miss catches? Well. The the tip parts of it, you know, um, yeah. I mean, yes. To answer your question, yeah. I think I think it'll help us when we get all our guys back out there. Same. And Anton a minute ago. Now he's been back for a few practices. What are you seeing from him? What do you think he can provide there? At the I like him. I think he's better playing better right now than he did any time in the spring. I mean, he's a load now. Big physical. This summer program really helped him a lot, and. Uh, I think he's a really good player and excited about him. And, and uh, I mean, I just feel him all the time. You know, I stand behind the offense. I feel him when he's in there. I know he's in there. So he, he's a, he's another hardworking kid, you know, come from one double A program, you know, appreciative of what we have here at Arkansas. And I just really proud of him. He's, he's a tough kid. We, we, were, we were talking to Travis about linebackers yesterday, and he's feeling pretty good about those guys. You, know, you had some good players leave through the portal. He brought in some good players through the portal. That's kind of the way it works these days. Just, how, how do you feel about the linebacker room overall? The depth I think we're pretty talent? good, and I think we're deep. I think we're, uh, you know, with Dix and Switzer, and then you have Spence and Sorry. Sorry's had, had a great week, and uh, Spence did too. They're both really good. Well, they're all four good players. I like our depth there. Um We'll wait and see till the games come, but I, I think we're in pretty pretty darn good shape right there. I guess you had a point to say Shipley's the kicker now, or are you still – No, 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 not yet. Ramsey, you feel like obviously the stats weren't good, but you feel like the – Well, you know, he's got a, he's got a growing injury, you know, and I don't know what should we have kicked him today or not, but we chose to, so uh, no, there's still a battle there. It's going where you know, Landon's in a pretty good position, obviously – but it sounds like he's not letting up in practice. I mean, he has a big scrimmage. I mean, how, how much do you like that, that your best player the older guys, is yeah. playing like that, you know? Well, that's him, you know. Um, and he's been uh, – he just works hard. But I'm going to tell you what, you can work hard and not be very good. You know what I mean? He works hard, and his quickness has really improved. I mean, he's he's really improved his technique and his game. Really proud of him. Got a couple more practices for camp, I guess, until school starts. Uh, how do you transition, I guess, from, you know, obviously still working hard, being physical, but making sure you get the legs back yeah. and all that kind of stuff? You know, once school starts, it's a different animal. And the more, to be honest with you, Demore is too. Um, Trey, if you look at it, since we've been here, this is the longest camp we've had before school starts. You know, they move our games two days earlier, you know, and have two buys. And uh, usually it's about a week and a half. You know, now that's been two and a half weeks. So um, we will do a little something different than normal. 
I, I will say this, you know, preseason, I think we've lost one game, our first game. Uh, we lost to Georgia my first year here. I think we've won the rest of them, and then we've won all our bye games. We've won every one of those, you know, when we have some time. So I think our plan is pretty good, but certainly – uh, there'll be more indoor practices, you know, things where you're not out there, the sun's beating down on you and the length of practices will change and the uh, good on good will change. We'll always have some trade, but it certainly will be much less than what we have now. I mean, there's like upwards of 30 new players, I guess, on this roster and, um, you guys have some conversations with and maybe some older guys too about scout teamwork and stuff like that. How do those conversations go? And I, I know it's difficult sometimes, like, hey, we need you learning these schemes now, you know. Um, we've done some three and four exchanges for teach periods now. Basically, we did that so we could be ready for three and four exchange whenever we get started and it's gone, it's gone well. Coach, appreciate you. Thanks, guys.